Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 6 of season 2 of Ocean on So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go.
pool. Ooh, that's pretty. You tried. Mm. Well, we obviously knew that last week. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. But. That's because he saw something in him. I mean, because if he what if he didn't, oh, That's because he's more immersed into the character. And also, you know, wanting to up somebody up. I mean, shit, I did the same thing. It's also because you're not trying enough. Oh. That's because I feel like he takes this more seriously than Sweet today, but... You do it for yourself, not for others.
immerse yourself in that whole thing. Don't think of that as a bad thing, though. Right? I mean, it is smart to do. So then if he gets stashed by a, a, ugh, an opponent he underestimated, then overconfident possibly? But he's so cute when he cries. God, that's so fucking beautiful.
Right, and it's okay that you did an ad lib. You did good. Once he finally found that star, that fucking potential he had, oof. Once you find that, don't let go. Do not let go. No matter what people say, whether that is just like fans, fucking um, reviewers, commentators, whatever. Those are the people who are trying to take you down. And even your freaking, like, co-workers. Co-workers and anything will do that shit to just literally break your spirit. I'm so proud of him. Like, God dang, I was not expecting this episode to go the way it went. But no, oh my God. I, once again, loved the how, how this was like super duper immersive. I think these next two, maybe three episodes will be hella immersive. The play, Just the start of the play. The halfway point of the play fucking good i mean it's just this was one of those episodes where it's just like shut the fuck up and immerse yourself into it and talk at certain vital points but shut the fuck up and just be in the moment with this episode and such it's like how ugh, if i can compare it to should i compare it to that play even though i haven't seen that play <laughs> Uh, okay, well, okay, I'll compare it to two plays. Well, okay, obviously, because we've talked about this one play, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. The, um, <laughs> the lovely bombed Broadway musical as the Spider-Man musical that came out oons ago. And then when I was in high school, I went to, um, New York for a trip with my chorus and I got to see Mary Poppins and especially getting the moment of like the wiring the f oh my god just seeing them like uh, jumping and immersing I mean that shit was good seeing that in like in the moment and such oof big oof oof that's why I, I mean like it, it's so good and it felt like especially it's it's the best thing where if they do like pull them out off the stage and up into the air and like they come down like very very close for you to almost like grab their hand so once again immersive think about once again this the bomb spider-man musical um and such it, it just once again you're very much in that environment because for like let's say Typical Broadway musicals and plays are about, like, I want to say two, maybe three hours, depending on it. Of course, you have um, intermission and stuff. Like, the last other play that I can kind of think about that I went to very recently, um, I think this was about a year or two ago, Anastasia. And if you've seen the Disney movie and then you go see the play, yes, it's two different things. You know, it's a compare and contrast and stuff. And they add a lot more um, moments in the play that you don't really get to see in the movie. So, of course, like, duh, it's going to be a different retelling. But it's still going to be very similar to the movie <laughs> and such. But, no, I had a grand old time with that. Um, just, ugh. I just fucking love plays and musicals. My, my fucking weakness. The one other thing of why I still want to be an actor so much, and that was my dream, but... God said no. <laughs> God said no. Go to YouTube. <laughs> You'll be famous with YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. He's like, yeah. You use your comedy as, and your, you know, your a antics and your immersiveness of entertainment and theater and anything in the inter entertainment industry for YouTube. <laughs> That is your purpose. Other uh, purpose is you also working in the medical field, but as a pharmacy tech. <laughs> Such. And then, boom, here we are. So, <laughs> there's my double life in a nutshell. But no, seriously, at the end of the day with this, uh, like, this has to possibly be the best episode for him. I, 
I was not expecting that for him, but, like, seriously, no proud of him. I, I hope that after this arc is done, and when we get to season three, we do essentially get to see him in more moments. I would love to see him grow as a character, because, god damn, that shit was fucking good. Like, this was a 10, I mean, every episode as of right now has been a 10 out of 10 episode, but this... This was next level, especially the quality of animation. Like, they really was like, how much do you want to use on this? Yes, there is no budget on this. Fuck it, give it all the money. Give it all the awards. I swear to God, like, seriously, if it's not with the Country Roll Awards next year, it's got to be with, like, psh, I bet you his Seiyu is going to get some. Give him a motherfucking Seiyu award, please and thank you. God damn, because seriously... This was the best fucking episode. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of season two of, of, of ugh, I cannot speak. Oh my God, Wednesday. <laughs> Ashinoko, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode seven. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.